different entrance music for this all. Oh my my my. Let's get this uh, show off on the right foot, shall we? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and all you fans of subpar mental age. Look what the cat dragged back in. Hi, you! What are you doing back? You know, I completely forgot that I completely screwed your career! <laughs> Why are you here? I sent you packing... years ago! Did I say you could chant? Now, while you've been gone for two years, I have been busting my ass and kicking ass in this ring, getting titles, and getting fame. I don't need you here anymore. Now, here's your options. You could either leave up that ramp, or do I have to send you out on a stretcher this time? Miffle. How's it going, buddy? Now, alright, I can hear you talking, like everybody else can, but all I'm hearing is blah 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 So, why don't we stop talking, and just get on down to it, because I owe you an ass kicking. Like, I mean, now that you mention the fact that they had once been tag team partners, it wouldn't surprise me if they're kind of already familiar, you know? Exactly. Mithra knows, I, I know what he's going to do next, and, and, and Jared you know, could be the same way. I know what he's going to do next. And so we'll just have to see if one of them can manage to stump the other. Oh, uh, uh, managing to take the, uh, the first takedown, uh, it's really, it, and it keeps just going back and forth. You think Mythos got it, and then Jericho trips him up. And yeah, and this is where we mentioned, I think it's best to sit back and watch because it's going to happen fast. Just like oh. that. Close line, and Mythos is down. We almost turned Mythos inside out with that close line. 
Well, the way he came off the ropes, yeah, momentum, inertia. I took the class of physics like 100 years ago. Well, in some time, into a nip up. <laughs> yeah, but it looks like he actually just rolled right into the knees. Middle managing to get them up. And this went right back to his feet. Oh, dear, this, one, this match is just going to go back and forth very quickly. But that's, that's what's going to be so exciting in this year. These two people who just ap apparently know each other so well, and, and now they're coming head to head. These two are veterans of the world. It, it, well, it's almost like, you know, a tug of war between the exact, you know, a mirror, you know? Yeah, it's like whistling yourself. Oh! Just like that. I don't, and, but they're both right back up. Simultaneous drop kicks. And it looks like now they, they're starting to reevaluate their strategies. Both like firing, hunting their prey. Ooh. Oh, and they're ooh, Irik from Irik from Metal, followed by a kick, and now he managed to pull him down into headlock. Headlock takes down. down. These two are like seasoned veterans. They've been around the you know, rings a while. Oh, and he stands him up just so he can toss him back over. If I'm correct, I'll have to double check it later, but I believe Missile is even a triple crown, crown winner here in uh, DCWF. Oh! Oh, I honestly, the way he just kind of like, I, I, you wouldn't even think they were ropes. You'd think it was a solid wall that he basically just ran up. I mean, that was amazing. Mickles always had that high flyer. But yeah, but that was some Matrix shit right there. I mean, he literally ran up the ropes sideways but, and then propelling himself off the top rope just so he could swing around and kick Jericho right in the face. This is a talented jumper. I've seen a lot of Mickles matches. I've had the pleasure of calling all the yeah, Mickles. I've, I've, I've seen him fight before, but I've also seen him run before. So this is this is almost like a more determined side of Mythal. Well, one of the things I'm noticing tonight, too, is Mythal's room attire. He definitely seems to have just gone completely to the dark side. Usually he's somewhat colorful in his room attire, but not right now. It's like it's all deadly business in the black. Down the stretch. Yeah, that's by uh, Mitchell stretching out his former tag team partner. And he just he, he like he like folds it up and pulls it back even more, trying to stretch it even further, taunting the fans. Literally taking him over the lip. That is some serious core strength to actually be able to use his abdominals to pull himself and be able to reach Mythal and flip him over that way. I think probably every oh, wrestler yeah. in this place. Every wrestler in this place would probably have a restraining order against me if I started this game. Oh, I don't think so. They might yeah, actually Joe. enjoy it. He, he, did he actually just, like, punch him in the throat? Yes. Is that even, like... No. So now we've got, it seems, Mithil is actually resorting to... Uh, well, I'll just say it. Cheating. Yep. All right, we've Ended got a foot choke now. 
Hey, you've got dude is is doing the count. Broken into and and he's actually proud of himself, modeling to the crowd, taking a bow. I have a feeling Sparkles has been having a serious uh, been having talks with him. It wouldn't surprise me. Uh, ooh. Christian's carry takedown. Now we got him right into the sharpshooter. And after already working his abdomen with that abdominal stretch from earlier, and now, you know. Working the back. He's working the back, but he's, he's also still putting a lot of extra stretch on those abdominal muscles at the same time. True, true, true. And still, if you see, Jericho is still managing to find the strength to crawl to the edge of the ring and reach for those ropes. Jericho's gotten into the ropes. Dude, dude finally starting that count. Mitchell has five seconds to release it. Uh, but as you stated, probably taking cues from Sparky, he waited, he waited, and he took advantage. Oh! And a bulldog, Bethel, just like landing on his feet, walking around because he's got, again, to model to the fans. He should probably be focusing a little bit more on his opponent, but... Referee starting a count. He's got a 10 count to get back into the ring. And he, and he definitely is not someone to really worry about what I assume he would call the, the tri trivial things. say paying more attention to your opponent he may not have been caught off guard possibly thinking that Jericho was still down for at least a few minutes Jericho so making the ball Irish rip into the corner pole Somehow getting up on the uh, onto the apron and into the ring. I still think you know his legs probably took a beating. He, he, either that or this is just another of of Mithil's, uh tricks where he, he likes to just kind of sit. I mean we've seen him do it before where he just sits and. Wait, he, could be a, he almost baits you into coming in to attack him. It, it, it's, it's a form of mockery if you think about it. I mean, he, he's almost like telling Jericho that, <laughs> and challenge accepted. A shining wizard. wizard. That will winning your belt. Oh, <laughs> with my floppy shit. Yes! Off the top rope! Whisper in the wind, takes it down, moonsault, and... Again, another one! It's just like one move after another! This is why the man is called an air show, because he is definitely giving us an air show. Oh, somehow, 
some way Murphy will hit Gary according to you, G4. Get his shoulder up. I'm surprised after all that. Mythyl still, he's standing up, but now the two are just like trading off punches. Yeah. And this is like a schoolboy fight right here. What do you mean, uh, Irish pub brawl? Well, if it was an Irish pub brawl, they'd probably say just have a pint in their brawl. hands. <laughs> yeah, the English are a little more civilized. They put the drinks down first. So <laughs> they, they want to risk spill spilling it. it. Shooting star. star by Mythyl showing off a little of his own air showiness. Coming off the top rope, flipping over and just landing his mark. Right into the corner. Backs off to the opposite corner. You know, something's coming. With Mythyl, you could do, you just can't predict. The guy is unpredictable, so. Oh! Oh, he went for some midair, be shit, but. Went for the tail of the dragon, but nobody was home. Oh, slamming that foot right into that turnbuckle. That really had to jar his knee up. Middle's turn to be set up in the corner, and Middle's turn to not be there. Well, he might have he might have rolled out of the way of that turbulence, but he didn't get no, he came back. He did not. He did not. Jericho was too fast for him. I'm guessing he probably kind of knew. So maybe maybe Jericho is the one person who does have the ability to predict Mythal Weissach. Because he probably predicted that Mythal was going to roll out of that one. And, and he was ready for another sneak attack move. Rebound corkscrew crossbody. Jericho landing perfectly on this Lysik. I don't know how much more he can take, but I can tell he definitely wants it. As the guy stands up and... Oh! I back down. Oh, my. Jericho comes up. Styling takes him right, with a right down on his back. And, and you know, you would think in a lot of cases that he would go for the pin, but probably knowing Jericho or, or Mythal as well as he does, he, he's got to make sure he wants to make sure that the Mythal's not going to be able to get back up. He had Mythal on the guillotine there for a moment. That is completely unexpected.
Jericho and make their way to the... Hey, what a great job, Jericho! Yeah, I was definitely... I am super duper impressed. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all enjoyed today's show, because it was an amazing thing to call for you. Now, don't oh. forget tomorrow.